So the Voice 21 partnership um, is something that St Luke's School began in the autumn of last year, in October 22. We are ably supported by the Voice 21 charity and we're part of a pilot group of schools who are attending training and embedding oracy principles within our curriculum. Oracy in its basic form is around speaking and listening and one area in which we really try to enhance speaking and listening in school has been done to make sure that we embed speaking and listening skills throughout the curriculum. So if you consider speaking and listening or language in general can fall into two main groups. One is about receptive language, what we hear and how we understand it, and that is predominantly an auditory skill. And the other is expressive language, how we can share our own ideas and how we portray our views. We've introduced vocabulary games at the start of every single day. They'll play things like articulate, um, never heard the word. Um, they will do the old radio show, Just a Minute. Um, and then during lessons, we'll be putting the emphasis more on them to explain what they've learned, how they're learning. Um, if there's words they've never come across, they have to research them. Um, but also in terms of our planning and preparation, the teachers are no longer just looking at words that they might come across as part of a topic, but actually purposefully what words we're going to teach them and then revisiting so that those words are interleaved not just in history or geography, but they're coming across them in all lessons. Oracy is great in that it combines expressive and auditory language skills and it teaches children predominantly to listen to the views of others and also to you don't always have to agree with somebody, but you can build on their ideas. So what we see with the children now, and we started this project in the autumn, is that they are quality listeners, we call it a quality audience, and they share their ideas and they follow the routine and expectations of what good oracy is, that you don't interrupt, that you acknowledge somebody's point of view. It's really shown an impact in both when we go and observe children with their learning or we talk about their learning, they refer back to oracy skills and they encourage each other. In the early spring, representatives from the Voice 21 charity came over and observed oracy in action in our school and they then gave us feedback as to what was already embedded and we were doing really well with and also what we would need to be doing next. They interviewed the children and we constantly just evolve our action planning around that. We're learning how to talk to each other so let's say if someone um, says something about uh, reading like this book is good um, you won't say oh it's really bad you would say I like your point, but I, I would disagree. It's interesting to be part of a pilot. Um, what's been really great for us, and it goes back to developing community links, we've worked with another school locally within our catchment as well, um, and we've shared practice, and we've also been around their school to see what works in their setting. What we need to be very mindful of is that Voice 21, or Oracy in general, isn't a scheme of work that we follow it's something that we adapt and we devise for our school based on the skill set of the children and the teachers. We've also done training for our teaching assistants and people who come in and support us as well because it's all part of that wider group. It's not a standalone item in our curriculum. Everybody has a role to play. Although we're only in our first year, it's had really positive um, the impact. Um, so just looking coldly at data, our speaking and listening data this time last year to this year has been a 10% increase, which you know is more than we were hoping. We were hoping this year just to introduce it, maybe raise the children's confidence. Um, we have a school council 
and for the first time ever we've been inundated by children wanting to step forward. They have to do a speech, they have to explain why they want to represent the class um, and previously you would get the most confident one or two. This year we've, we've had five or six representatives so um, I think there's benchmarks at this early stage about how well it's going and we're going to continue it for, for the foreseeable future.